and my name is Thomas Ginge. I'm from the trainings team, even and also Dietmar Shan and Fatima Karaki, which are also visible in the video. They are also on the trainings team, and we now want to go through with you to the through the uh, denture, the full denture. And before we start in the details, I want to show you the status quo at the moment, where we are at the moment, and I have prepared some case here before I start my presentation. And you see here, now I want, I will transmit my, my screen that you see, this is our, at the moment, our status quo means we have full dentures, the design is finished, and from that point, we have now different ways where we can go. Maybe we want to print something, maybe we want to mill something, and that we will look in detail. So this is at the moment our status quo, and there we will continue after the presentation. No. When we go through the presentation, it's a really short presentation. I want to go more in hand things and show you things in the camera. We have, uh, we will talk about the portfolio, about our dentures, what we are doing at the moment, and which will come next, the new features and the improvements. Then let's talk about some benefits, which is the, what is the benefit of doing the Amman Gierbach full denture system. Then some um, uh, words about the production, how it works with the production. Then the timeline, we will show you when will be the next software update, the launch and planning for the year 2020, our year then what happens at the moment with the software and now what are the new features in the 3D sprint and the HG resin fill, the material. And finally, one page with the pictures, which is the result at the end. So let's first talk about the product portfolio, the denture portfolio. On left hand, on left side, you see my mouse moving. I will point on the things I am talking about is the thermal full denture system called FDS, full denture system. At the moment, we have some trays, some dents here. They are specially catched in some special resin trays. These resin trays are very important when we will mill the teeth. We can mill it in these trays from occlusal and basal side. And you see we have three colors. This is the red color I show you. I have another one. This is a gray color. This means we have different producers, different companies which are offering the teeth. We have the Vita company, these are the, for example, the red ones, and we have the gray ones, and we have the Merz company. So it means three developers of the teeth. A very new and special tooth, and you see here it's coming soon, is the called Vita Vigo tooth. The Vita Vigo tooth is also available as a tooth set, not only as a single tooth, but these teeth are specially prepared from the basal side that you immediately can fill these teeth in our bases. What's the meaning of bases? So base means, I show you a sample for a milled base. This base, this base is milled in wax, for example, and you see there are a lot of kind of alveoles here inside. And the teeth, which are coming from this tray, they are immediately fitting here inside. You can see that in these pockets, we call it pockets. And if you finish the part after the milling process at the moment, when you go in wax, you can immediately put the teeth in the pockets and you can make a try in. This is the Vita Vigo tooth, specially prepared for being in uh, glued and placed in these pockets. In the future, this is not now at the moment, in the future, in the autumn, end of this year, there will be another possibility to do. And this is the a milling process in a disc, which is a multi-layer disc. I can show you one of these discs at the moment. This is a 98 disc in PMMA. We are using that for temporary crowns and so on. And there will be a disc which is possible to mill a complete tooth arch for individual occlusal adapting for single, even single arches. This is for coming soon. And now the material for printing the base, we have here the teeth on top and the base material. You see here, we have one bottle. There is written Prudential 3D Plus. This is the material for printing the bases. And another material is called the try-in material. This is the material if you want to make first a trying before making the denture completely finished. Therefore, you can use this try-in material. It is a tooth-colored material, and you can print the complete block, for example, 
could look like this here. This could be like a try in here. Okay, let's continue. This is the left side, Amal Gierbach full digital system, the Saramel full digital system, and we have the Vita Avionic system. What is the difference? So the difference in Vita Avionic is that Vita Avionic operates only with the two sets of the Vita tools, the Vita D sets, all shapes of these. And on the other hand, we have also the Vita Vigo tools. And now on bottom, you see we have two disks. And these disks are in pink color or in white color. The pink color is a disk we, can, we could use for directly milling in a milling unit, in a milling device. You see here, this is also possible in different colors. It's the 25 or 30, I think it's 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter height. I think, yes. Yeah, it's 30 millimeters height and 80, 98 diameter. And we have one disc, it's in wax. It's a wax disc for monoblocks. This, for example, is made in a wax disc for try in in a monoblock. By the way, when we will start our next exhibition in Cologne, you can touch this part. And our experience, Dietmar is smiling, you can look at his face, and Fatima also is smiling. A lot of people, they come to the booth and they touch this part and they break it. And then they say, oh, it was not, uh, I didn't want to make it uh, destroyed, but I thought this was plastic, this was PMMA, but this is wax for trying. We want to go at low price, first we go in with wax and then we bring it to, to a PMMA material. Okay. Let's talk about the price level at the moment. The highest price at the moment will be if you mill the base in a disc, in a PMMA disc, and you have the, T the two set. This is around, for Germany here, 120 to 140 euros, the higher price. And as you know, it's not so much money earning for full denture. We want to keep the price a little lower to earn more money with full denture. So we have a middle range here between 70 and 100 euros. And this would happen if you either mill the complete arch and you print something, or you use the prefabricated teeth in a printed base. So printing, the printing process is much cheaper than the milling process. And when you print both, for example, in the final end of this year, you print the teeth and you print the base, then you are at a level, cost level around 25 to 60 euros for a single unit, for a single upper or lower jaw. Which are, or what are the benefits? Of, co of course, the cost effective is if you print something. So we want it to make very cheap to earn more money. Then another thing was, for example, we had another system in our program which was not approvable. It was not approved by the Food and Drug Association, the American Association, which is approving everything which comes with medicine products and so on. So with the printing process, we are out and we get these approvings. And due to the printing process, you see um, everyone who has made a milling disc with 30 millimeter height will block the machine for two and a half up to three hours. And in this time, normally you can mill zirconia bridges, which bring much more money. So you will not occupy the milling machine by milling a big disc when you print the things. And it gives you the highest flexibility. Of course, you have various design options in the software. Imagine when I go back to my, to my database and show you the database again, then you can see, okay, it's perfect if you have a lot of flexibility, if you fill in your database and you say, okay, now I'm caring about, I want to print the base or I want to mill the base, I want to mill the arch, I want to have pre prefabricated teeth. It's your choice what you want to do here with your, with your uh, planning of your, your works. And the point of benefit is, you have a perfect fit. This is a user, a, a big advantage for the user. Of course, when you have the tools on one side and you have the pockets of the base on the other side and this fits perfectly together and you can glue it, this gives the best result and the quickest result for that. So going to the lab production options, you see we have two options, two possibilities. The design on both sides is the same. On one hand, we can completely print 
the base and the drying material. You see here the next gen 5100, the printer. And we have the possibility of gluing the, for example, Vita Vigo tooth inside. Or we can design the same way. And then we mill the teeth. And milling the teeth, you see here this special holder. I have this holder here on my side. I can show you the holder, how it looks like. You see all the two sets here, the two patterns with these plastic frames around are set here in this special holder. And they are held in wax. It's a very hard wax. So this is the advantage now. I can mill the tooth from the basal side. Maybe the adaptation, when you have less space, you can mill the basal side. And milling from basal has two important things. Why we do that, of course, I have a small video to show you how it works with the milling on the basal side here. We see here, I hope that you can see the video a little. This is the 5X movement. And here you see the milling of the basal side. Why, why do we use the milling from basal side of the teeth? We have two options why we can, or why we have to do that. The first one is we have to adapt the teeth to the pockets. Remember, when you want to place the teeth back in pockets, they have to fit on the right way that they fit together. And the next thing is if you have less space from the model, if you have less space, then you have to reduce the tooth from the bus outside, normally by hand. And here it happens with a machine. So these two options, the two, two options are by milling the teeth from the bus outside. And here we have one picture where you can see the bus removement. We will come to the other things later. Okay, I think here you can see it. So this means less space, the tooth is too big from the basal side and you want to remove it. And this is done automatically by the software. You see here now this is reduced and this is now completely done by the machine during the milling process. So therefore we have this holder here with the different two sets. The bottles are the same. When we, when we print the base, we can do it as a try-in in one color, or we can do it in the pink material, the Denture 3D Plus material. This is a production line. How will it work with the timeline for the future? So at the moment we have May, the start of May. Today it's the 11th of May. And the first beta tests now are running at the moment. I have got it last week to do my own beta tests now. And on end of June, beginning of July, you will have our next software update, the 3.16. At the moment, we are running the 3.15. And then we will have the 3.16. What's the difference then in 3.16? What will come new in 3.16? If you see here in our database, who is familiar, knows when you are selecting the full denture tools, then normally you click here, full denture. And here you have your option of your machines. You can choose your own machines for milling. And here we also have our printer in. And you see here the material Denture 3D Plus is now here available. This means if you have finished your design at the very end, you only click on this button, the next Gen 5100. This is a direct handover from the machine, from the, from the, sorry, from the construction, from the card to the printing. And the printing here, you see, we have the two bases adapted and we have selected the material. And if we now click on proceed to printing, we will open our printer window and the denture bases, they are immediately placed in the right angle. That's a very important thing. We'll come to that later in detail. And you don't have to do more than importing it in the right angle and to select here these support pins and we call it the stabilizers. So stabilizers are done by hand and support pins will done automatically by the 3D sprint software. So back to our presentation. This is the software update 3.16. And now there is a long phase, which happens nothing. This is the summertime. And then we get another software update. And you see we have a big jump from 3.16 to 4.0. And there we have then the option of milling the complete tooth arch in a multi-layer, in a multi-layer disk. This is the future of this year, the planning of this year. So 3.16, what is the new feature now in the software? First, I just showed you is that the material is inside. We automatically transfer the cases to the 3D sprint. 
This means that all my material information, the printing orientation and the rotation to the set X in the printing process is very important. And no secret, but this is really a secret. Don't tell anyone. Printing denture is not so easy than printing denture. No one is listening. There is a very special trick for printing dentures. And our R&D developer, he said he tried a lot, a lot of prints. And now he has the best work, the best workspace and the best work place and the best work around and working thing that the fitting is perfect. And that's what we want to have. So psh, don't tell. Okay. Benefit, easy, fast. Um, the printing time for two dentures will be around, I think, maximum 30 to 45 minutes for two. The milling time, Dietmar, what do you say? A milling time of this disc will last how long? Around more than one more than one hour when you open your microphone, Dietmar. Tell us something. It's around about. it's around two hours. Two hours. For one. For one disc. For one. Yes. And you will occupy your machine for two discs, maybe nearly a whole day. And that's um, between our trainers' eyes. When we come to the finished project and the machine, then in the in the bottom of our machine where the workspace is, there are a lot of spans inside, and the milled out the milled out parts here, everything which is milled out here is really a lot of material. And by printing, we only have the 50 grams or 40 grams of printing material use. So speed easy and fast. Reliable results, when you have always the same workflow, it's a reliable result, that's what you want to have, and we get this perfect fitting with, with, between the base and the teeth. One more picture about the, the bringing the, the dentures inside the, the software. And I can show you that um, when you look closer to the 3D Sprint software, you will find a new button inside, and it is this one. It's called Create Bars. So Create Bars is especially made for Amman Gearbach. So you can choose here di uh, different diameters and creating these bars and, and diameters. And this is especially made for this, let's say, stabilizers, which gives the best result for fitting. So this button is new. And if we go to the, the printer and we look closer at the printing, so when we go on next, you see here the validated programs where or, or workflows we are going, they are all made with these uh, blue stripes here. This means they are this means they are validated, and you can see when you when you scroll down a little, even the next dent denture material is now validated. If I click on the material, if I choose it, click on next, you see here we have different colors. For example, the opaque pink we will start. Then you go again, and then you see the the layer thickness of 50 microns. And here you see that we have even a special, developed a special build style for Ceramil. It's not the standard one. We give our customers a special build style. And then after setting these build styles, you see here on the right edge here, we have this next end material, 50 microns, opaque pink, specially designed for Ceramil. Okay, this was a short outlook on the 3D sprint software. Perfect fitting of base and models we just have talked about and it's specially validated. Validated means a lot, a lot, a lot of tests has happened for this material. What are our premium results? And now look at the pictures. We have the complete workflow with the software. This means the complete design of the, the parts here. And mm, to be honest, to make a good design of upper and lower together, will take for a professional CAD CAM technician, I think half an hour to 40 minutes. And it's a real good result. And you see here after printing, how the base looks like. And these teeth are not glued at the moment. They are only put in loose. So in these pockets. And after gluing, then you can make a final occlusion check. And here there's a small picture between the occlusion points during our CAD process 
and after finishing here the same occlusion points here. Okay, that's worth it. Then I thank you very much again. Stay safe and see you this week or next week or on the next exhibition in Cologne. Bye-bye.